Hey, Charlie here. Today I'm here with my fellow fabricator, Eric Kondo, and Eric's going to show us some of his creations. Uh, Eric, welcome. All right. Thanks for having me at your amazing workshop here. Yeah. It's pretty fantastic. Well, I'm glad to have you. All right. How did you get into this stuff? So, uh, well, I've been a wheelchair user for a long time, about 40 years. And in the, in the last few years, I've been uh, dealing with a lot of people in low resource countries. And I've just encountered so many people who don't have a wheelchair. And and it's it's really a tragedy. So that is starting to make me think, okay, you know, how can we make wheelchairs out of whatever material is available um, so that you can have something? And also, even here in, in, in the United States, you know, there's a lot of people who their current chair does not fit them. And also, if they want, if they, even if their chair is really nice, like this one I have right here, I don't want to take this one in the water, um, you know, and it's not necessarily set up right now for off-road. So you can have a different chair for different uses. Hey, just like good to me. Yeah. That's what I do. Exactly. And I, I Change think, your shoes. That, I think that's under, understood in the, in, in, the, in the wheelchair community that you can have multiple wheelchairs if your multiple wheelchairs don't cost you a lot of money. Yeah. You know, like, and that's the key, like driving down the price. Um, so yeah, you think you have a lot of different shoes. Yeah. People who bike might have five different bikes. Yeah. Right? So it's the same idea. Yeah, mountain bike, street bike. Right. BMX bike. The beach runner. Different tires, you know, like yeah. the whole thing. So variety makes Great. it work. Great. Well, why don't you show us what All right. Cares? So I brought two of these here because there's two different designs. Um, this is my latest one. I just finished this uh, literally a few days ago. Although the, the and, and it has um, a similar design to other wooden chairs I've made. Uh, so this is pretty much this is basically all PVC. Um, and this one is this is wood. This is plywood and, and cedar wood. So well, I'll talk about this one first. Um, so here, you know, this is all all PVC. Um, but I'm going to point out the first thing that, that really um, provides a structural integrity to these chairs and I think what other, other DIY chairs hadn't come up with is what I call the rectangular camera tube. So that's this piece right here which I'm going to flip both of them up so you can see that this one's made out of plywood, this one is made out of, um, this is actually PVC wood, it's the same thing. And this box um, provides the strength and also houses the, the 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 axle receiver, which mates with the axle on, on the wheel. So that means that these wheels here are actually um, quick release, and I think that is super important because when you're transporting your wheelchair, you want your wheels to come off. So just like the wheelchair that I have now, I can just pop the wheels off and. Put them back on. This is a five inch caster. That's a four inch. You can put on whatever you want. Yeah, this this kind of axle, uh, this wheel, and and the fork. This is a twenty dollar item that I'm getting, um, and it you know this it, it works great. I mean, it's not really that much different than this. In fact, these are also from China. Where are you gonna find a axle receiver right now? Right. That. Yeah. So, so that's a really good point. And you know, so these parts here. This is the this is the axle receiver. I get this um, from from China. This is a two dollar item. You know, my the axles cost four dollars. And uh, I also have created an eBay store to sell. You know, I'll hold that up and I'll pop the wheel back. Um, I created an eBay store called DIY Wheelchair Supply, so that people can get get these parts affordably. Same thing with um, caster wheels, caster forks. This is a twenty dollar item. Um, what about yeah. this? Though? You got like Th these, these like wheels are really nice. wheel. Right. Yeah. These are these are aluminum wheels. These wheels cost um, not including shipping and so forth about sixty dollars a piece. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's 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 pretty amazing. That's crazy. Um, yeah. That's the whole wheel. Tire on it, everything. That's 60 whole, bucks. That's, yeah, that's for, that's for one. Wheels can be super expensive, but they can be cheap, right? So if we don't count the wheels, these are, you know, this is like under 200, this is a little bit over 200, something like that. I mean, 
you know, it, it, it's pretty, it, it depends how cheaply you got these things. Did you have extra parts available? I mean, I've made a wheelchair out of um, a shipping pallet. The shipping pallet was sure. You know? So, um, again, people spend, you know, how many people do you know spend $2,000 on, on, on their wheels alone? Oh, right? Oh, yes. Exactly. Oh, spending two wheels. You know? Yeah, exactly. So, you can get, you can spend a lot of money or on your wheels or you can not spend. Um, so, and then regarding this, so the, the frame here is um, one and a quarter inch PVC. And and then, you know, this is one, this is quarter inch PVC panels. Same thing here. Um, and then there's certain fittings that you typically need to order online. This is a slip T. Um, this is this is slip T right here. It's a 90 degree elbow. This is a, a, a reducer, and these particular, you know, these parts, like particularly this part, you're not going to see at Home Depot, but the rest of the stuff you pretty much can get. Oh, and there's one more point. Um, people talk about, oh, PVC, it's going to break on you. Well, number one, if it breaks, you know, if this piece breaks, this is literally a $2 item. So who cares, right? Mm -hmm. I'll just replace it. And if I don't want it to break, then you can reinforce these these parts by sleeving them. So, you know, you put so, a piece of PVC inside. Right. Or in another piece in, in, inside that. So it looks like a Russian doll. So you can beef this up as much as you want. Yeah. You know, and, and that's the thing. It doesn't have to be exactly like this. Yeah. So people can change it. I've seen Eric, I don't know if it was in this chair, but it was a PVC chair. So I'm take it up a set of stairs and down a set of stairs. Yeah, it was this one. I just did that the other day because part of that is to show that, look, it's not really, it's not that heavy. So this frame is about 22 pounds, which, you know, that's, that's more, that's heavier than, than, than my titanium chair, but it's lighter than a lot of okay. wheelchairs. Yeah. That's fantastic. All right. You want to show us the wooden chair? Yeah. So the wooden chair here, this is, um, a little different design and and the idea here is again I really want to drive the price of this thing down as cheap as I could and in this case I'm using plywood and and these are these are cedar two by twos um, this doesn't have the closed frame this has an open frame but the strength comes from the fact you know I got an angle here which, which helps it and it, it seems to be you know strong enough um, again it, it uses the same thing I have the what I'm calling the rectangular camera tube under there. It, you know, the same idea. So you can see that these two wheelchairs, even though they're somewhat different, really kind of follow the same basic design. Um, and really, that is the, the key to all the strength, is, is that rectangular box down below. So same thing, quick release axles. Um, both of these, you know, have a, you know this is a, a backrest I made myself. There's just some foam. And then I just, you know, since I don't sew, tape stuff together. If you sew, then you can make them better. Um, but both of these have this kind of box here so that when you put this in, it stays on both sides. And then, you know, Velcro is good to just Velcro in. It keeps it in place. I love it. What about the brakes there? So the brakes are basically, you know, these are <laughs> really affordable brakes. Like a brake like this costs, I don't know, $12 or something. And there it is. So it's you just, can put it anywhere you, you want. Can, you can move it on the, on this frame, yeah, exactly, because I'm just drilling it in in here and right. then holding it with the bracket like that way. So it's just like a, a normal brake. Perfect. Yeah. So there is to it. So I mean, the, this is I haven't got around to putting a uh, brake on that chair because I literally just made it a few days ago. Um, and but yeah, so these are great. Just active wheelchairs. Just you can like put the brake anywhere you want to, higher, lower. Right, I like it lower because it keeps it out of the way of my hand. For pushing. Yeah, exactly. I understand you have a website for all yeah. the designs so nobody has to reinvent the wheel. Right, so uh, I have a website called um, opensourcewheelchairs.org and the idea there is that I have all my designs, including some CADs, um, of, of, because uh, I have multiple wheelchair designs. They have photos of how I put stuff together. In addition, there's a stock list and there's links to, um, you know, you know, supplies and so forth. So pretty much everything you need to duplicate these chairs is is on the website, uh, opensourcewheelchairs.org. 
And again, what I'm trying to do is just promote a, what I call a DIY wheelchair movement. It's not really, it's not a money making thing. It's, it's the promotion of, of DIY wheelchairs because in my opinion, wheelchair users need all the help they can get. Yeah. And, and one of the things that we really need is like affordable wheelchairs, yeah. not just our primary wheelchair, you, you know, other wheelchairs for different things. Sure. Like, I don't want to put this in the water. I don't want to bring this one on the beach, but this is perfect for that because yeah. it doesn't matter. The big thing in the wheelchair community, and I run into this, and I'm sure you do all the time, is you need to ask, all right? A kid that's 12 years old may need a wheelchair. He's not going to know how to weld. He's not going to know how to run a, a saw. You're not going to let him do that type of stuff. I mean, hand saw, yes, but uh, you need the tools, you need the knowledge, and you need something to put it together somewhere. So that's right. a great right. example. Yeah, and I just say one more thing. As far as we need all that stuff, but it only works if it's not super expensive. Yeah. And that's the key. All right. So if everything that you you have cost you ten, twenty thousand, thirty thousand yeah. dollars, then it's not gonna happen. You know. Right. That is why using this kind of technique you can make really cheap, affordable, inexpensive, and then have a lot of different ones. Yes. That makes a difference. Yes, definitely. I, I love it. And again, the website you have is called? It's at opensourcewheelchairs.org. It open has source. all the plans, all the photos, all the information. Great. That's a wonderful thing. All right. Thank you. All right. Well, thanks for coming out and showing us your chairs. And uh, I'm sure we'll see you again. All right. I appreciate it. All right. Open source, wheelchairs.com. Dot org. Dot org.